read through the New Testament, I grew closer to God just through reading his word. I didn't do that before, definitely. So it was a way to know what to read. So I always knew that I could, if I wanted to read the word and get closer, that I could go grounded. And it was just this responsibility that always kept me on my toes. Um, so I feel like my prayer life has definitely grown a lot. Um, I feel like um, I've spent more time actually listening to God and not just talking. And, um, and I feel like I've grown in my ability to have spiritual conversations with people. It's remarkable to see and read God's redemptive plan for humanity uh, through Jesus. God taught me about reaching out, loving, and his word is living. And as we were going through the New Testament, it was like, oh, this is happening, this is happening. I have read the New Testament before, but studying it and being accountable was absolutely wonderful. God taught me that it's okay if we don't know everything about him. And even if we don't know everything, we can still tell someone. If, if we know enough to be saved, we know enough to share and share our testimony. Like how, even though it was written so long ago, it was, it's so applicable to us in our culture today. Um, mm -hmm. It's kind of crazy um, how some parts like were speaking directly to me. One of the main things I think that God taught me as I read through the New Testament was how faithful he is, um, how compassionate he is, no matter what we do or um, what maybe our life has been, he's always there for us. Hearing other people's perspectives, you know, what, what struck them? What stood out? What did they wonder? And hearing their analysis and how they elaborate on, you know, whatever uh, is meaningful to them, it just provides kind of a multiplication factor. Uh, instead of just reading it yourself, you're hearing all these other different perspectives as well. My transformation group helped me a lot when I was reading through the Bible because they really held me accountable and they gave me uh, high expectations. Well, with me being um, 16 years old and one of the older people in the youth group, I knew that I had to really take a more of a leader standpoint in this and I couldn't just slack off and not do a, a couple weeks. I really had to get involved with this project and make sure I saw it all the way through. I think being part of the transformation group really helped in getting through the New Testament as, this, as part of this initiative in, in, a, in a couple of ways. First, you know, when you're in a group, you become accountable to the group. You know, you have, you have to stick with it. So it, it's, uh, it's, it's sort of a little extra incentive to be disciplined about it. But I think then more importantly, um, there's, there's a lot to be gained by sharing it and reading it as part of a group. I think back to what it must have been like in the first century, right? If you were a part of a, a church then, you received one of the letters from Paul, you know, and you read it and you reread it and you shared it with one another and you talked about it. I mean, that's, that's getting closer to what we did in the T group. And it was, you know, I think that's the way it's meant to be done, to share it among each other and to talk about it and to learn from one another. As you know, I lost my husband a year and a half ago, or a little over a year and a half ago. And I needed this. And it helped. I will always miss him. I will always love John, but it has, being in God's word, it's a comfort, it's a peace, and I'm finding out what God is saying. And I look forward to every morning to get up, and I'm excited to, to know what God is gonna say to me. It's important to get in the habit of reading God's word because it will always be your strength. Um, whenever you drift away from this word, I see that my life starts to fall apart in many ways, and it's hard to 
see who you are without going back to his word and understanding that God is who he is. Because when you, when you go through a storm or something, it's hard to look up and praise God. But when you stick to his word and you see the miracles he did and you see how he was faithful and he's going to be faithful for you, it's easy to um, look back up and understand that it's not about you, it's about him. All right, so to get into the habit of reading God's Word is really important because uh, it's something that you're going to need to know for the rest of your life and life on to come, you know. This isn't just something that we do for entertainment. This isn't something we do for money. Uh, reading God's Word and our religion is something that's really just, you know, it's something that we will take with us until, you know, we're gone and it's something that will actually last forever, so it's very important. I feel like the more that I'm in God's Word, the more, like, the more hungry I get for it, and the more I want to be in His Word, and the more I'm in His Word, the more I see what He's doing in my life, and the more I feel His presence, and the more I feel His comfort and His love, and, um, and also, um, it's helped me recognize opportunities that I had to talk to others about Jesus. And, um, and I don't think I would have recognized those if I wasn't in his word. It can set the tone for your whole day. You can get things from it that you weren't expecting to get from it. Um, you know, it's, the New Testament is, in, is, to me, a miracle. I mean, it's God's message to us. And if we don't take some time to sit down and to read it and to think about it, we are missing out so much from our walk with Christ. I mean, that's, that I think is first and foremost in my mind about why we ought to sit down and spend time in the Word every day.